All right, everybody, quick tip Thursday. This is one that I'm sure a lot of you already know, but for those of you who don't know it and you're about to find this out, it's going to change your world and you're going to be very happy about this. So imagine you have this, uh, you brought in the sequence to the source monitor and none of these patches line up, right? V1 is at V4, V7 is at V1. And the audio, they're all messed up. I'll even do more messing up. Um, these don't match, okay? So now you could, if you didn't know better, you'd start dragging one by one, trying to fix this all. Okay, there's a much better way to do this. There is a shortcut in Avid to do all this. So sometimes it happens. It seems to be happening less lately. Maybe Avid software bugs figure this out, but... If your all your patches on the source do not match up here, very simply go to uh, timeline. Right, it is timeline restore default patch. Now, before I do that, I just want to make take a look here. Seven is at one, right? But timeline, when I hit restore default patch, boom, everything is in sync. This is so good. If this happens to you a lot, you should map this to your keyboard setting somewhere. I don't I don't have to deal with it that much. It doesn't bother me that much. But it is a huge, huge thing. So it's the 4th of July. So what am I going to drink this weekend? Well, I'm going to start out. I have to have one can of Budweiser. Just in memory of my youth and my father. And growing up in Long Island and America. And Bud, Bud, Bud. But uh, for most of the weekend, for the 4th of July weekend, I think I'm going to try the Harpoon Brewery Take 5 IPA. That's what I'm going to drink most of the weekend. So have an awesome 4th of July weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Some people think Avid is really hard to learn, but that is not the case. And now there's an online course to prove it. Get all of the info and all of the details at avidbeer.com.